It was going to be the fight of the century. And then it wasn't at all the fight of the century. And today it ended with a majority decision. The U.S. Senate today confirmed Elena Kagan to a lifetime appointment on the United States Supreme Court. Ms. Kagan will be the 112th justice in the court's history, the fourth woman ever. She'll also be the umpteenth potential Republican talking point to go kaput in this political season. Remember Republicans talking about filibustering her nomination? Oh, you neither? Today's 63 votes for Elena Kagan included five Republicans, Susan Collins and Olympia Snow of Maine, Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, Judd Gregg of New Hampshire, and Dick Luger of Indiana. It was enough that Democrats could afford to write off Nebraska's Ben Nelson, who voted against her, the lone Democrat to do so. So Elena Kagan is in, replacing John Paul Stevens, which means the Supreme Court, even with a Democratic president making the appointments, continues to shift to the right. And so Republicans don't have the Supreme Court to campaign on. Then again, liberals don't either.